How to identify the AMX fighter, that is the AMX International of Italy and Brazil. The AMX International is a lightweight ground attack aircraft developed and produced by the Italians and Brazilians. It first flew in 1984 and entered service in 1989 and more than 200 ha have been built. And now before we get started let's watch this little video clip of the AMX aircraft. So let's look at these specifications. Crew 1, length 13.23 meters or 43 feet 5 inches, wingspan 8.87 meters or 29 feet 11 and a half inches, height 4.55 meters or 14 feet 11 inches, maximum takeoff weight 13,000 kgs or 28,700 pounds, maximum speed 1,053 k's an hour or 650 miles an hour. Ferry range 3,336 k's or 2,073 miles. Service ceiling 13,000 meters or 42,650 feet. Armament includes guns. With the Italians it is the 1x20mm Vulcan 6 barrel Gatling cannon and with the Brazilians it is two 30mm Mark 164 cannons. Missiles, of course, are included, and these can include air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and air-to-ground. We can also include uh, ASM, uh, anti-shipping missiles. Bombs can, can include general-purpose and laser-guided uh, laser bombs, and also rockets. The AMX International Fighter. When looking at it, we can see that the wings are high-mounted. They are swept back and tapered with square tips and we have missile rails on those tips and all of those features are fairly evident in this photo here. Here we can see that this aircraft has high mounted D-shaped air intakes mounted forward of the wing roots as you can see there we're looking at the air intake in that yellow oval there. And unsurprisingly for a lightweight ground attack aircraft this plane has a single engine with a single exhaust as you can see inside of that yellow circle at the rear of the aircraft. Looking at the fuselage we can see that this plane has a pointed nose and a bubble canopy. This plane has a, this plane has a swept back and tapered fin as you can see inside that red oval and that fin has a blunt tip. We can see a small step which is actually the radar warning antenna near the top of the fin and you can see that in that green oval and you can see that that radar warning antenna is obvious on both the front and back sides of the tail fin. It juts out right on both the front and the back side of that tail fin. Looking at the tail, we can see that the flats are mid-mounted on the fuselage. They are swept back and tapered with blunt, angular, with blunt angular tips. And it's kind of hard to see that these tail flats are actually swept back in this photo, but they are, and it's quite apparent in some of the other photos. You'll also see, though, that the tail flats, of course, are in that yellow oval. This is just a useful photo when it comes to practicing identification of the AMX and so I thought I'd include it 
a nice photo of a pair of AMXs belonging to the Italians. And looking up at the aircraft from above, we can see that the body widens at the air intakes and tapers to the rear section. And you can see that there in this photo. And here we have a line drawing of the AMX. I like line drawings for identification purposes. Often they are clearer than photos and they're quite a useful way of noticing the main features on a particular item. And so concludes another episode. Thanks for watching. It is always worth hearing what you have to say, good, bad or indifferent. So comment, like, dislike, share and subscribe. On more than one occasion now, a person has pointed out something I got entirely wrong. I appreciate that. So if I make a mistake, feel free to let me know. And of course, I make mistakes too. And when I do make mistakes and you guys point it out to me, that's how I learn. So, man, if I make a mistake, then please point it out to me. I really want to know so I can get better as well. All right, guys, take care and good night.